In 3 John 2, it tells us, he said, Beloved, I wish above all, all, okay, I wish above all, that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Now, notice prospering and being healthy is connected to your soul prosperity. In other words, to your soul growth. Uh, There are people who prosper beyond their soul's growth. Those are people that, the Bible says that uh, the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Okay? When you prosper beyond what your soul can handle, you can get rich, but there will be sorrow. Do you understand that? But now, he says, I would that you, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. So that prospering, it doesn't always mean money. It can. That's one part of it. Because, you know, pretty much everybody in here, to some degree or other, has to have some money to exist and to continue paying bills and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, he, he mentioned those two things, prospering and being in health. And so it is important that your soul prosper. And as your soul prosper, your health will prosper. As your soul prospers, then your other areas of your life will prosper. That's the way it is. Now, that is if you believe the truth and walk in the truth. But there are people whose soul can prosper, and yet they don't prosper in health, and they don't prosper in any other area, even though their soul is prospering. Why? Because they have believed a lie. You say, well, how is their soul prospering? Because they try to draw near to God. And, you know, God has revealed himself to us in several different names. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Shalom. Isn't that right? A bunch of, what, 16, I think, different names like that. Now, he said, if you draw nigh to him, he will draw nigh to you. In other words, you cannot draw nigh to God and him not draw nigh to you. Do you get that? If you draw, now notice he didn't say, I'll draw nigh to you and then you draw nigh to me. He didn't say, sit and wait until I draw nigh to you. He said, no, you draw nigh to me. And when you draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. Now, so how would you draw nigh to Jehovah Rapha? You believe his word. You read it. You believe it. You do it. You do it consistently. That's you drawing nigh. Do you get that? Now, how would you, okay, uh, in the area of healing, you learn his will, okay, 3 John 2 is his will because he said it, okay? But now notice, you draw nigh to him when you read his will, you decide what it is, and then you move toward it by doing what it says. So in healing, then if you need healing, one of the ways that you can receive healing is by drawing nigh to Jehovah Rapha. That means you find out that he is the healer. That means you go into the word of God, you find out what he said about healing, and then you do that. Now, Even if you're sick, if you're going to draw nigh to Jehovah Rapha, then you're going to have to give away what he has provided. If you find out he has provided your healing, then you're going to have to give it away to somebody. And when you give it away, see, now you're doing his will, and that's drawing nigh. That is submitting to him and drawing nigh. So if you're going to draw nigh to Jehovah Rapha, you're going to do it by learning what he said about healing And then you're going to give it away to other people. You're going to start ministering to other people and praying for people or helping other people. That's how you draw nigh. Now, when you do that, he's going to draw nigh to you. It is impossible for you to consistently minister healing to other people and you not get well. Why? Because it's the law of sowing and reaping. It is an infallible law. It works. You got that? Now, so how would you draw nigh to Jehovah Jireh? Well, it's the Lord that provides. So how do you do that? You take on his characteristics and you provide for others. Do you get that? And whenever you provide for others, you are drawing nigh to him. Why? Because you're obeying his word and then he draws nigh to you. And whenever Jehovah Jireh draws nigh to you in that sense, then what's he going to do for you? He's going to supply all your need. You get that? So I'm just giving you a principle. This is how to live your life. You can go through all of his Jehovah names and whatever the Jehovah name is there, you draw nigh to him in the way of listening learning his will concerning that, and then doing it consistently. And when you do that, he will draw nigh to you. Amen? You got that? It's real simple. Now, 